Welcome back, Compassion Campers. I am so happy to see your faces. I hope you guys had a wonderful week last week. If you guys remember last week, we talked about how being brave is also being compassionate. And so it was a great story about some people and compassion and being brave and being brave for your friends. And so this week we're talking about compassion again, and it's a little bit different, a little bit of different compassion. And I am so excited about this week because this, I think this message is so important for all of us to hear. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, I'm so happy to see you and I care about you all so much. And you guys want to know something else? I care about me too. Have you ever heard that? That I care about me. I have compassion for myself. So just before I joined you, before um, I started this video, I was brushing my teeth. Look here. I have my toothbrush. It's a fancy toothbrush. It Here, I'll turn it on real quick. Can you hear it? It's kind of still wet. Do you hear it? So that's my toothbrush. And uh, so I just got done brushing my teeth. And if you have your toothbrush handy, go get it. Is it an electric one like mine, or is it a fun color? Hmm. I'd love to see what you use to brush your teeth. Hmm. Maybe send me a picture, or send me a picture of you brushing your teeth in the morning, or right before you go to bed. I'd love to see it. But the question is, the reason I bring up this toothbrush is because I'm wondering why we brush our teeth. Huh. Why do we... Can you see my teeth? Why do we, why do we brush our teeth? What happens if we don't brush our teeth? Have you guys ever not brushed your teeth? Sometimes when I don't brush my teeth, it feels like I have like a slime on my teeth. Have you guys ever felt that? They feel like slimy and almost fuzzy, it's gross. So I take care of my teeth because I love my body and I wanna take care of it and I wanna be healthy and have healthy teeth and healthy gums. And so that's why I brush my teeth every day. So. We're going to talk about this week what else do we do to love ourselves because that's an important thing to love ourselves so if you want to show yourself care and love what are some things that you do huh if you should want to show yourself compassion and show yourself love what are some things that you eat i know for me one of the things that i love to eat is popcorn mm, i love popcorn and if I want to be healthy and love my body, I make sure I eat my fruits and my vegetables. So that's fun. Do you exercise? I know I exercise. I like to go on long walks with my dog. Or I like to ride my bike. Do you guys like to ride bikes? Or I remember when I was young, my family had a trampoline. And I loved to jump on my trampoline. So that was a fun way to exercise. Do you love yourself by maybe listening to music? I really like to listen to music. I usually always have music going in my car when I drive or maybe when I'm cooking dinner I have music playing and that's a way that I love myself. Or maybe it's books that you read. I really like to read. Do you guys like to read? You know some of you do and that can be a way that we love ourselves too. So in church we talk a lot about loving others but it begins with loving ourselves. So when we care for our own needs, we are ready to care for others' needs. So that is what this week is all about. It's all about loving ourselves and caring for ourselves. So again, I'm so excited. Welcome, everybody. I'm happy you're here. Stay tuned uh, for the next video about our Bible story and how being compassionate can be compassionate to ourselves. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for joining. Welcome to session three.